Vectors Introduction You will find this on page 574 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. This is a vector from A to B showing the direction. So a vector is a quantity which has magnitude, size and direction. The length of AB, AB, AB shows the magnitude. So this is the magnitude, the length. And the arrowhead shows the direction. So it's going in this direction. Standard notations of vectors. Since a vector has both magnitude and direction, it can be represented by a directed line segment. The direction of the line segment indicated by an arrow represents the direction of the vector. The length of the line segment represents the magnitude of the vector. So this is from K, so that's the tail, to M, the head, with the arrow indicating it's going from K to M. You can either show it with capital letters in the beginning and in, at the end, or a small alphabet letter which is bold printed. If you want to do it in written work, you don't bold print it, you're just going to make a A and you're going to underline it. So this one is going from P to Q, and in this case, it's not bold printed, it's just underlined. But that means that it's bold printed. So from P to Q, so P is the beginning, that's the tail, and that is the head. Okay, so basically, the diagram sh above shows a vector with a starting point. So the starting point is always the tail, and an ending point, the head. The vector can be written as KM, so the two capital letters with an arrow on top, with the arrow indicating the direction. It can also be shown by a bold letter A in this case, and remember in written work, vectors are shown as A, do not bold print it in, in writing, just underline the letter. Similarly, another vector as shown in the diagram above is denoted by PQ or B, and again it's bold printed, and in written work it's B. Okay, underlined. Let's just mark this. Direction of vectors. In the notation PQ, the order of the letters is important. It indicates that P is the initial or the, or the starting point, and Q is the terminal or the ending point. The vector QP is different from the vector PQ. It starts at different points. Their magnitudes are equal, but they are in different directions. So it's like KM and MK. Same magnitude, but different directions. Let's just move up a little bit. The magnitude of a vector is the actual length of the line segment. The magnitude is shown by two vertical bars on either sides of the vector. Remember, not brackets, vertical bars. Okay, vertical lines. The magnitude of Km is denoted by Km, so that, or it's just an A, remember you can use a small letter, bold printed, or underline it. But every time there's vertical bars, and it's the length of the line segment Km. Okay. Let's just go on with the introduction. What is equal vector vectors? Two vectors are equal if they have equal magnitude and are in the same direction. So if this is a parallelogram, I know that AB is equal to DC, okay, because it's a parallelogram. The magnitudes are equal and the directions are equal. So we can say that AB is equal to DC. So in the parallelogram diagram, the length of AB and the length of DC, and they are in the same direction. Therefore, the vectors are equal. AB equals DC. Similar, DA equals CB. In the trapezium diagram, the vectors are not equal. Can you see? PQ is not equal to SR because 
the magnitudes are different. The directions are equal, but if the magnitudes differ, we say they are not equal vectors. The same. The magnitudes are different, so the directions are equal, but due to the magnitudes, they are not equal. So vectors which are opposite, so let's just look at this. In the diagram, a ship sails 10 kilometers from K to S, from K to S, on a bearing of 70 degrees. The vector KS gives the displacement of the ship from K to S, from K to S. So SK is in the SK, not KS, SK is in the opposite direction of KS and indicates that the journey back in general, a negative sign reversed the direction of a vector. So if this was P, can you see, then we will say that this is minus P if it's in this direction. Okay. Um, so negative P is the vector that is negative to the vector P. The vectors P and negative P have the same magnitude but they are in opposite directions. So K is, is P and SK is negative P. Okay, there I showed it to you. Let's just move on. Column vectors. Column vectors, a column vector is simply a vector whose components are listed vertical in the single column. So in terms of matrices, it will always be a two by one. Okay, two rows by one. So OM, okay, there is OM. This is the horizontal movement, which is X, and this is the vertical movement, which is Y. And we always remember it by the letter T. Always the horizontal on top and the vertical at the bottom. Horizontal, vertical. This representation is called a column vector notation. The values of x and y are the x component and the y component of x, y. So always remember horizontal on top, vertical at the bottom. So in this example, Lm, so the horizontal movement is free, positive free. If there's no sign, it's positive. And the vertical movement is negative 2. So to draw the vector, you can start at any point on the grid. As long as the horizontal movement is 3 units in a positive direction, and the vertical movement is 2 units in a negative direction. So you can just say, it's going to 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2 down. So every time, if you look at this one, it's 3 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 2 down. 1, 2, 3, 2 down. So these vectors are all equal. In the next video, we will look at a few examples. How to name vectors and how to draw vectors.